everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping that red subscribe button right there, making sure to select all after you have tapped the notification bell. So today we are moving on into the sunroom and we are going to decorate right here in this sweet little corner. Now I'm not, um, not that I can because I just, I am unable to, um, I cannot pan out because there is quite a bit going on here in the sunroom right now. Um, we're going to have this complete room, th this room completed this week. But today um, I'm very excited to be um, sharing this special um, little fall tree that I am about to put together. Um, I hope it inspires you all in many different ways um, as it did me today when I was putting it together. So I hope you enjoy the show today. And that being said, let's begin, shall we? Now, first things first, I'm just going to share just this little haul. It's not much of anything, um, but I'm going to be working on top of this small little cabinet that was purchased here in Northern Virginia. And again, we're working right here in this corner, but you know, we're going to, we're going to really fill it with quite a bit of color. I will not disappoint. I'll try not to anyways. We're going to start things off with these primitive lights. There are multiple functions. Um, and these look, they call they they say they're warm, white, tiny bulbs, but when you put them, when you turn them on, they have this, um, very nice orange glow to them. And I did, I purchased these from the Minuteman Mini Mall. I have looked to see if I can find them and I cannot. Now, she might ship, I don't know. So if you wanna call the store, they are electric. They're not um, battery operated. And it's all these little bulbs on here and there's eight different functions. but you might want to call and she has the primitive booth in the back and see how they have that, um, just, just that soft autumn glow, which is perfect. Now I know many of you do not like, um, twinkling lights, but I happen to love them if I have other lights that are not twinkling on a tree. I like having the blend of the two. So I purchased four of the boxes. And then from a booth right next to it, there was this little, um, just primitive looking ladder. And she just wanted, or he, I don't know who owns the booth, but they, whoever it is, just was asking $5 for this little sweet ladder. Next up, I have these wonderful, um, just, you know, the little, you know, the, the woodland, um, animals, you know, uh, the felt animals. These were purchased from, oh goodness, I believe it was Home Goods last year. I never used them. Oh, wait, right here. Yes, this is Home Goods for $16.99. I'm hoping to use the little creatures. Um, today, our little friends, but I'm not sure. And I purchased these pumpkins as well last year, and I know for sure I will be using these today. These are the perfect, perfect autumn colors. I love the mustard yellow and the orange and the green. These were $12.99. I love working um, with felt. 
just gives that nice old world primitive feel along with these flowers. Um, so these picks were purchased from the Minuteman Mini Mall and they were $3.99. Loving the yellow. Now I have tried looking for these again, but I'm just not having any success. But I know if you go out there and if you Google like, um, you know, primitive decor, um, different sites will come up and you can look, you know, through them to see if you can find them. This is a little burlap bag. Um, I believe I just, I purchased this. I think it was just three dollars if I'm not mistaken but this bag can easily be made you just fold it over and do a stitch on one side and fill it you know with some stuffing and put your whatever florals you're going to use inside and then on the back is a little wire and you just poke it through the burlap and then twist it up and you'll have a little hanger this is actually a a cute DIY and if I wasn't so caught up in my staircase right now I could maybe be doing some um, really good DIYs but we'll we'll see what happens there this year kind of really busy but I'm able to go out there here and there um, not too often and pick up just a couple little special pieces I want to add into my decor and this is a gourd um, purchased from Minuteman Mini Mall. Most of the items I'm sharing came from there because they have a couple primitive booths and then another small gourd. Next I have this primitive pumpkin I like the the um, the grungy look and feel to this pumpkin. The color's perfect. And then I purchased another. And next up, I have these spoons that were purchased from um, this and that Amish store. When I came across these, I just knew they were going to come home with me. I want to go through each and every one. I'm going to have to put it up close just to get it focused in and then I'll pull it back out. And this says satisfied. So satisfied to be content or pleased. And I can say I am satisfied with the ability to feel and heal with the grace of God. The next one, I believe this is going to say cheerful. Yes. And today my sunroom has made me cheerful with the many colors of fall. These spoons are a special touch because, you know, they just allow us to reflect a little bit. And here is gratitude. And the power of gratitude brings happiness through kindness. So it's just nice having um, a spoonful of autumn, right? It's just something that we can reflect on and something positive, something good. What is it that we can give for the day? And thankful, let us all experience pleasure and delight with thankful hearts. And the messages on each and every one of these spoons are just wonderful. 
so when I came across them, I knew I wanted to place them on my tree. Blessed. We are all beautifully blessed. A lot of times I like to, um, when I have free time, I just will just sit there and just think, you know, just go into my own little space. And I thought, how nice to have these little spoons up in my fall tree um, to help me reflect on some um, meaningful things in life. Fulfilled. I hope I leave you all fulfilled with autumn splendor. And again, all of these wooden spoons were purchased from this and that Amish store. And they are in Virginia. And then this one is another gratitude. So we have double gratitude. And they're going to be a nice touch on the fall tree. Next up, we have this small little tree that, oh goodness, where did I purchase this from? I think this came from Lowe's. Yes, it did come from Lowe's. A little four foot tree. I like to have um, several different four foot trees around the house um, because they don't, they don't take a lot of time, but they add just the perfect amount of color into that small little space that um, I like to work in. It's by Holiday Living and maybe Lowe's ha will have them again this year. Okay, so I want to point out um, this is two hours later so the top of the tree wasn't working. Um, so I sent my husband to the store, see the toolkit down there? I um, had my husband go to the store to get me some lights, but also to get a clicker gun. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. They're red and you put it your, your light bulb socket on it and you click it and it makes your whole strand of lights work again. So I shut them all back off for right now as we start doing a little bit of decorating. And that's the good thing about putting together fall trees because when you take your Christmas trees out of the box, a lot of times you have to spend quite a bit of time just to get your lighting right. So that's a plus for doing fall trees. Up at top, I just uh, placed in all of the wheat and the hay um, spray picks up at top. This ribbon came from, I believe, Michael's. And I purchased this last year, last year or the, no, the year before last. And the picks up at top, those came from New River Pottery when um, I was living in North Carolina. So I just went at a diagonal. I just did three of them and pinched it off in different areas by using a branch of the tree. And then I'm going to use some of this, um, it's like a heavy wire gauge uh, garland. I like the texture and I like the color. And I just placed a couple and had one really come out on the top. I don't um, want it to be too uniform. And now I'm just going to add in several different fall picks all throughout the tree. Many wonderful colors to work with. So here I have quite a few leaves, um, leaves already placed in. It's all about the pluck and play at this part.
I love the rich, the, the warm yellows and the oranges. And I'm just sort of following along with the garland. But right now, I, I'm going to do something a little bit different with um, three uh, floral sprays here. And I'm going to blend them all together. I'm going to show you how I like to do it. But I want to add um, a little flower burst um, coming off of the side of the tree. So I'm going to use place the large one in the back. And then we're going to get this gorgeous, like variegated wild um, stem in the middle and then put another floral up at front. And you just grab the ones in the back and pull them through to the front. It's all about weaving the flowers and giving it that natural flow and look. Because again, there's nothing um, uniform about uh, nature. It just sort of grows and goes how it wants to. So I, as you can see, I placed it into the left side of the tree. A, a decorated fall tree, Christmas, spring, whatever holiday you're working with, it most definitely does not have to have that uniform shape just going straight down. You can have anything coming off and from it as you like, whatever makes you happy. And in this case, I wanted a burst of floral. And now I'm going to add in some berry picks. I'll go ahead, I'll spread them out. And I'm going to tuck them in on the right hand side just to fill it in a little bit more on this side since I gave the nice um, burst of florals to the left. And as you can see, I placed them in the triangular shape that I like to work with. Place some under the garland, on top of the garland. And now I'm going to work with these felt pumpkins. I love how you, you see the mustard yellow pumpkin, the stitches have the orange, and the orange pumpkin has some of the green stitching, and the green pumpkin has some of the yellow stitching, and working with felts, they can go in with any decor. Again, they can go farmhouse, they can go French country, definitely, um, primitive old world they just uh, have that familiar um, simple but yet very welcoming feel um, to the felt so I'm very happy to be working with this garland this fall so I just placed it going down diagonally and then I place some on the back side as well because I'm going to be seeing this tree through my dining room area. So it's important that the back is decorated as well. And I'm gonna add in this sweet burlap bag. Next, we're gonna um, just lighten things up but also um, tone it down some using the browns and the yellows and I honestly don't remember where I purchased these picks I believe these are Hobby Lobby and again it's all about the pluck and play just putting things in here and there I have a couple pumpkins both purchased from Hobby Lobby and I will also be using one of these primitive pumpkins I actually ended up, I didn't use that one in this arrangement. I thought I was going to. So here's the pumpkins. 
and you can see the different wheat that have has been placed in so I'm trying to cover up a good majority of the pine um, now I'm going to be placing on the spoons And again, this is going to be wonderful sitting out here in the sunroom when I have time for, you know, just Bev and my own private thoughts and um, seeing these wonderful little words and reflecting on them. Next, I have up some uh, fun sparkles. These leaves were just a dollar a piece. And I don't remember if I purchased, uh, purchased them from the Dollar Tree or maybe it was Walmart and the other leaf that came from Hobby Lobby. And I just placed them about in the tree. And now we're going to add in some of these primitive yellow flowers because it's going to lighten things up but yet give it an earthy feel too with the green. So I have them all placed in under the garland, up at top. And you can see we're getting pretty full now. I'm going to add in some sweet little um, jingling acorns. <laughs> Might scare the squirrels a bit if they try to come get my acorns. <laughs> and always during fall i love working with these dark berries they really make it everything stand out i place some up at top going around the big burst of floral up there and then some on the side and down at the bottom It's all coming together so nicely. Now recording this over to the left, there was something I was wanting to put up there, but I couldn't because I couldn't find it. And you'll see at the very end of the video during the closer look, I finally found it and placed it up next to the tree. But down at the bottom, I just added in the gourd and uh, some primitive, couple primitive gourds up on the ladder and some birds. those sweet little yellow flowers now we're gonna move down here so next to our little trickling waterfall we're going to work inside of the cabinet now for right now the cabinets just gonna stay cream but um, Bev will be changing this for sure <laughs> But right now we're just going to add just a few little pieces and we're going to start with some wheat. I believe this was purchased from Home Goods, possibly one of those stores, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and I just placed it off to the side. Now everyone is talking about how Sister is sharing a magical story here at the Little Blue Fly on Friday. So make sure to join us for Fairy Tale Friday this coming up Friday. I'm going to add in just some old vintage books to the side because we have a couple visitors. And here we have it. Here is Ivan. And wherever there is Ivan, who's with Ivan? Let's see if you guys can remember. But they heard about Sister telling the story. So they just had to come and they've been helping harvest the wheat, Betsy. Betsy and Ivan came along. 
because they just have to listen to the fairy tale. Now these are vintage wooden ducks. Now these can be found on eBay or Etsy and sometimes even Facebook Marketplace. Just place in vintage wooden ducks. And now over by the little trickling waterfall, I wanted to add a bit of color back behind. And I thought this garland would be a nice touch. I purchased this from a floral shop that actually was going out of business. And she just had four of them and I took all four because she was just asking $10 a piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I do have a little bit of information. Here is the company that um, makes this. Maybe they can be found um, on Amazon or out there, but she was originally asking 30, for, well, might as well say $40 for one. And it's worth every bit because there's so much detail and good quality floral on this garland. But $10 a piece. And I just placed it on the back on that little um, concrete ledge. And I'm going to place in this Hello Fall Pumpkin. I like the glitter going all around the edges. And this was purchased from Steinmart. It was sad to see this company go out of business because they had gorgeous clothing and their decor and their bedding. They're definitely missed. Now make sure to show up this Friday for Fairy Tale Friday because as you can see, Sister has a great story to share with us all inside of the Fairy Tale Cupboard.